Uh, ito po muli ang inyong uh, diesel doctor at ngayon po ay uh, magsasagawa kami ng bagong senaryo pero bago po ang iyon ay uh, gusto ko pong pasalamatan ang lahat ng mga nagsubscribe at patuloy na nanonood sa uh, YouTube channel na The Diesel Doctor uh, and, and for those uh, who are non-Pilipinos who are watching my YouTube channel uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, continue watching today i will do is about a uh, throttle position sensor what will happen if a throttle position sensor is uh, not working maybe some wires is removed maybe the connector is removed or maybe the throttle position sensor itself is malfunction or not working so uh, please continue watching and for those who are not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe so uh, at this point I want to show you the uh, throttle position sensor that I will uh, remove I will remove the throttle position sensor socket uh, with the harness and we will try to start the engine if the engine will start or what will happen okay let us go let us see uh, I will show you the throttle position sensor which one which one I will remove. Uh, this one is the socket. This is the throttle position sensor. And which one? This socket is I will remove like this. Okay? And then we will see what will happen now. Let's go to uh, the... Uh, uh, and I will start the engine. Now I am here to start the engine. I will try to start now like this. Engine is started. Even the throttle uh, position uh, socket is removed. But let us see. I will try to accelerate. There is no power. Huh? You see, the accelerate. There is no acceleration. Even I press the accelerator too much, is not responding. So that is the problem now. So uh, in this case, what shall we do if like this? So we have to check and one thing more before i forget there is an engine light you see there is an engine light here this means dtc was recorded when we removed the uh, socket of the throttle position sensor so we will check now with the mut if what is the code it has been detected okay so now here is my mut my MUT, this is my interface, uh, MUT interface, and I am using uh, MUT3 second edition again. Okay, this is, I click STV, then let us wait, and he will read the uh, vehicle. The vehicle is uh, red already, the Atraj Mirage G4, General Export, Mitsubishi, and uh, everything including the chassis number has been read. And uh, once it is read, uh, I will select MPI GDI diesel to uh, make sure that we will see some DTC. Okay, I will click yes. Then I click yes now. <coughs> Many options come, sorry. Uh, these options come. Actuator test. Uh, what is that is uh, readiness test dia self diagnosis then we will go on self diagnosis and uh, we will find here uh, the dtc recorded are p0222 uh, tps sub low and one more is p0123 tps main high those are the two dtc that has been recorded I will not erase this one I will first uh, connect the our uh, TPS uh, socket we will connect the TPS socket and then we will start and uh, we and then we will erase this uh, so that we can see if there is a small misfiring after fixing the uh, connector of the TPS so let's go to the engine again and I will fix the TPS 
Okay, uh, quickly I will go and I will connect the TPS here. So you see, before I remove, now I will fix this back like this. But make sure it is uh, tight. Yes, like this. Oh. And then also we need to check these wirings. Maybe some of them are loose or corroded. We can uh, clean or spray uh, contact cleaner in this area. Okay. And then we will try uh, to start again the engine. Okay. Just wait a little. I will start the engine. Okay. Now I will start. Now it is running. But there is no acceleration. You see, oh? even I already fixed the TPS, there is no acceleration. I fixed already the TPS. Now what I will do to solve this problem is I have to erase the DTC. So I go here to erase the DTC. So I'll go erase DTC, this one. I erase DTC. Now I have uh, successfully completed uh, erase the DTC and I will start the engine now. Let us see now. Okay. Now is uh, very good. You see the accelerator pedal and you see the response of the engine. Okay. Uh, that is uh, until we do not erase the DTC, there will be no acceleration. That's why it is very important that we have the diagnostic scanner in case the uh, TPS sensor is uh, uh, get, a, get a failure and some malfunction. Uh, even though we replace this one, but we don't have the scanner to erase, to reset, then it will not work properly like what you have seen in our presentation. So, uh, this time, um, we confirm one problem again through our scenario. So, uh, once again, uh, I hope you learned something on this uh, video about the TPS. And uh, the procedure is quite easy for you to follow. And uh, this one may happen anytime to you while running. And suddenly this happens, then you have to reset. Okay, uh, once again, this is your diesel doctor telling you goodbye and good day everyone.